Hey guys and welcome back to another Halo Firmas revision video and in this video today we're going to take a look at some core pure revision mainly we're just taking a look at differentiating hyperbolic functions so in this video here all I'm going to show is how to actually derive the results that we need so that's the derivative of shine x cosh x and fan x so to do this you can just commit to memory but I honestly think it's really easy to actually show how to derive these results the only thing you need to know is the exponential definition for shine x and cosh x. If you know the exponential definitions, it's really, really easy. It's just basic differentiation. So let's just start by writing the exponential definitions. So for shine x, hyperbolic sine, well here, you should be familiar with this exponential definition. This is e to the x. So that's e to the x minus e to the minus x all over two. Okay, so that's hyperbolic sine. And then for cosh x, so that's hyperbolic cosine. Again, let's just write this exponential definition out. It's very, very familiar to this. The only thing that changes here, instead of a minus, this becomes a plus. So this is e to the x plus e to the minus x all over 2. Okay. And for hyperbolic tan, okay, so for hyperbolic tan of x, well, here, this is just using the identity then that shine x over cosh x, okay? And you can actually differentiate hyperbolic tan just by using identities. But for now, let's just start with hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. So let's start by differentiating this expression here, e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. So if we say y equals shine x, well, in that case, if we find dy by dx here, well, imagine I split this up over two fractions. So this is e to the x over 2. That's e to the x over 2 minus e to the minus x over 2. Okay. And now I'm just going to find dy by dx. So let me just actually get rid of that. It's a bit all over the place. So let's do it just over here. So dy by dx then. Well, I'm just going to differentiate this here now, okay? So if I differentiate e to the x over 2, what would that give me? Well, that would just simply give me e to the x over 2, okay? That's half of e to the x. And now if I differentiate minus e to the minus x over 2, well, here, be very careful with this minus x as my power. That minus will come down with this minus here, and it will become positive. So what I get here is plus e to the minus x over 2. And then we could just write this over a common denominator. So this is just the same as e to the x plus e to the minus x all over 2. And if we just take a look now at our exponential definitions, we can see that this is the exact same as cosh x, the hyperbolic cosine. So in that case, if you differentiate hyperbolic sine, you get hyperbolic cosine, okay? So this is equal to cosh x, okay? So that's our first result. And like you can see, it's really straightforward to actually derive, um, and it's just basic, you know, differentiation. You're just differentiating the exponential function. So again, let's consider the same here with hyperbolic cosine. So I could write this as e to the x over 2, uh, plus e to the x, sorry, e to the minus x over 2. And again, we'll just differentiate this in a similar manner. So dy by dx, just differentiating here term by term. Well, e to the x over 2, if I differentiate that with respect to x, that just again gives me e to the x over 2. Okay. And now I've got e to the minus x over 2. If I differentiate that, again, just being very careful with the minus here in front of the x, this will come down and this will change it to become minus e to the minus x over 2. Okay, so this is e to the x over 2 minus e to the minus x over 2. And again, let's just take a look at our exponential definitions here. And we notice this is the exact same now as hyperbolic sine. Okay, so if you differentiate cosh x, what you get then is shine x. Okay, and then finally, if we just take a look then at hyperbolic tan here, well, there's two ways of doing this. 
you can write now the exponential definition here. So shine x, we know that is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. And this is all over cosh x, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. Well, in this case, this would simplify then to give us e to the x minus e to the minus x. These twos would just cancel here. My denominator would just be e to the x plus e to the minus x. And you could just differentiate here using the quotient rule. That's one way to do this. Again, it's pretty straightforward, just using the exponential function. Or we can do it in terms of this quotient here, shine x and cosh x using the quotient rule here. Okay, so let's do it using uh, the quotient rule. So in that case, if I differentiate here, shine x over cosh x, again, it's pretty straightforward. We just need one identity at the very end, which you might not be familiar with just yet, but you will come across it um, in your studies for A-level further math. So if we differentiate this, shine x over cosh x, so again, just change this to y equals, and finally, y equals here. So I've got y equals shine x over cosh x, so differentiating this using the quotient rule then, what I'm going to get here, uh, where do I write this? Have a, am I going to have enough room? Do you like by the x? So here, your u would be shine x, and your v will be cosh x. Okay? So in that case then, applying the quotient rule here, what I'm going to get is the, de the derivative of shine x. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use prime notation just to make this clear. So it's going to be shine x differentiated times by cosh x minus, remember for the quotient rule we minus here, it's going to be shine x times cosh x um, differentiated. So we use prime again here. And then our denominator here is v squared. So that's going to be cosh squared x. OK. So here now, this is just a matter of simplifying. So in this case, the derivative of shine x with respect to x, we already know that. That's cosh x. So what I get here now is cosh x. So cosh x times cosh x minus shine x so shine x times by the derivative here of cosh x which we know is shine x so this is times by shine x and like you can see this is working out quite nicely here okay and this is all over cosh squared x okay so here now how this is going to simplify is so i'm going to get cosh squared x minus shine squared x so let's just write that here cosh squared x minus shine squared x all over cosh squared x. We're going to root just a little bit, which should just make it. So here now, this is just where we need a final identity. And what you've got to recognize here is the identity in the numerator. Cosh squared x minus shine squared x is actually equal to 1. So here we can write this as 1 over cosh squared x. Okay. We get 1 over cosh squared x and 1 over cosh squared x. Well, we know that is set squared x. So that's set squared x there. Okay. And that's how we derive the derivative then of the hyperbolic tan. Now you can see that result is, you know, it's a bit more, um, you know, there's a bit more to it, a little bit more complicated, but it's nothing too intense. It's just applying the quotient rule. Um, we take u as shine x and v as cosh x, and then just using this final identity here. Again, like I said, though, you could use the exponential definition definition here and just differentiate using the quotient rule. That way, um, you should also get the same result here of set squared x. Okay? So, basically, those are the three results that you really need, and that's how you easily derive them. Now, like I said, you can commit to memory, but hopefully, after watching this, it makes um, a lot more sense. So, like always, any issues, just leave a comment 